What's going on everybody? RJ Ochoa here from SB Nation's vlogintheboys.com. We hope all is well wherever you are. We hope you're safe, hope you're happy, hope you're healthy, hope you're practicing social distancing, washing your hands so we can all get through this uh, as soon as possible. Something interesting uh, happened as uh, the second week of free agency wrapped up and something that's worth talking about. Some, you know, you and I, we gather around the campfire, we figure things out and uh, got a lot of questions about this. On Friday, the Dallas Cowboys uh, was announced our signing kicker, Greg Zerline. Awesome, the Cowboys have a new field goal kicker, that's great. And uh, this is interesting because in the first week of free agency, the Dallas Cowboys were announced to be re-signing kicker Kai Forbath. So one plus one is two, the Cowboys now have two kickers on their roster. And we've gotten a lot of questions. Why, why, why would the Cowboys have two kickers? I don't understand. I am here to offer one potential theory, one potential idea because as you know, anything is possible, but this is what makes sense. Now you look at it, kicking is important in the NFL. In fact, kicking is a position that yields points. Points are how you win football games. A few years ago, when Dane Bailey was the kicker for the Dallas Cowboys, I wrote at blogintheboys.com how the Cowboys should have not been using Dane Bailey on kickoffs because Bailey is somebody that earns them points and you don't need to be wasting his energy, tiring his leg out on kickoffs and things like that. And so as you can see, this is something I am highly interested in now. The Cowboys have two kickers on their team. Again, why? Why would they have two kickers? And it would be one thing if the Cowboys had a kicker, maybe drafted one, who knows? But the fact that they signed two kickers, I mean, as of Friday, they have signed six players from other teams and two of them are kickers. The Cowboys have signed as many kickers as they have defensive tackles. So it's kind of hard to understand. Now you look at it, Kai Forbath obviously came in for the Cowboys last season after they finally parted ways with Brett Maher. Kai Forbath threw three games, went 10 of 10 on both field goals and extra points. That means Kai Forbath attempted 20 overall kicks for the Cowboys and he made 20 overall kicks. It makes sense to trust that. Now, kicking is part of special teams. The Dallas Cowboys have a new special teams coordinator under Mike McCarthy in John Fossil. John Fossil is coming from the Los Angeles Rams. You know who else is coming from the Los Angeles Rams? Greg Zerline. That's right. Zerline and Fossil have worked together with the Rams even all the way back to their St. Louis days. So it makes sense that there would be some familiarity between the kicker and the coach. Okay, but why are there two kickers? I know, I know. Now, check this out. Michael Brockers, defensive lineman for the Los Angeles Rams, was reportedly going to sign with the Baltimore Ravens. That's right. The Ravens are beefing up. They're getting ready, probably because they're going to host the Cowboys in 2020. And the Ravens were going to bring in Michael Brockers. This is obviously a unique time in our world where medicals and physicals and things like that are hard to come by. And the Ravens and Michael Brockers ultimately what was to be dissolved, dissipated, and Michael Brockers was not going to be a Raven. Now, here's what I think. I think that when the Ravens were going to sign Michael Brockers, the Rams said, oh, you know what? We're going to miss Michael Brockers, but now we have some cash. We can use this cash on Greg Zerline because our kicker, he's a free agent. We can keep him. We can bring him back. Greg the leg. Let's bring Greg back. But then guess what? The deal between Brockers and the Ravens dissolved. And so Brockers and the Rams said, hey, we were going to break up. Let's stay together. This is awesome. And so all of a sudden, the free cap space that the Rams had likely devoted, partly at least to Greg Zerline, maybe had to go somewhere else, maybe like a defensive lineman named Michael Brockers. Now, Maybe while all of this was going on, the Dallas Cowboys initially wanted Greg Zerline because of the fossil connection. And maybe Greg Zerline said, you know what, man, America's team, that's cool and all, but I'm just gonna stick it out here in the Rams. They're gonna offer me all this money. Michael Brockers is gone, so they got the space. I'm just gonna do this. Good luck to you guys. So perhaps the Cowboys said, oh, shucks, we missed out on Greg Zerline. Let's bring Kai Forbath back. He went 20 of 20. That's awesome. Let's do that. And that's why we saw the Kai Forbath signing in the first week of free agency. Now, when the Brockers to Ravens deal fell through and then Brockers returned to the Rams and Los Angeles did not have the money to sign Greg Zerline after all, maybe Greg called up John Fossil and said, bro, Johnny, Bones, I know that you signed Kai Forbath and everything, but uh, suddenly I'm free. You want to hang out in Dallas? You want to go to Waterburger, get a sweet and spicy bacon burger? Hey, we can do whatever you want. And so maybe the Cowboys then looked at it and said, hmm, even though we've already re-signed Kai Forbath last year, even though we were under different coaches, we made the decision to go forward with a shaky Brett Maher. Because you'll remember that in 2018, the first season that Brett Maher replaced Dan Bailey, he was okay, he was fine, had some big kicks, but he was just average. And people were upset that the Cowboys didn't bring in any kind of competition for him. And they went forward in 2019, it blew up in their face, and here we are. So maybe the Cowboys figure, look, we had re-signed Kai Forbath, but all of a sudden, 
Greg Zerline was available. Let's bring in both. It's like that old meme where that little girl says, why not both? The Cowboys say, let's go get Greg Zerline. Let's add him to Kyle Forbath. We'll figure out who's better because ultimately competition is the best thing. It's a weird situation, don't get me wrong, that the Cowboys have two kickers, but if they're trying to find the best one, I support it. And you know what? You should too. We support you. We hope you support us. You can support us by subscribing right here to the Blog and the Boys YouTube channel. You get breakdowns, discussions, recaps, all sorts of videos. You can make sure to check out blogandtheboys.com every day for the latest and greatest in the world of America's team. And if you're a podcast listener, we have all sorts of shows you can listen to. You get at the very least one Cowboys related episode every single day in the Blog and the Boys podcast feed. We're available wherever you get podcasts. Apple, Spotify, TuneIn Radio, we're all over the place, people. Now, uh, you gotta do me one more thing. You gotta make sure you have yourself a fantastic day. We'll see you next time.